I'm walking around in a strip mall in Ohio and I'm looking at all these people and their bags and these kids are chilling, you know, on their little swings and they have this whole kind of community set up here. And just uh, comes to comes to mind, why do people buy so much stuff? Why do we as a society find such happiness from getting new things? Are we just so bored with our lives that we need to fill it with things? I saw a documentary a while back about minimalism. And there was like these two guys that go around the country and give uh, uh, big seminars about minimalism and how it breeds this kind of sense of community and compassion. <clears throat> and I really do believe that. I think um, if you can, if you can cut out the urge to update your wardrobe all the time, or the urge to buy new appliances or new little tools to marginally increase your productivity for a small period of time, not only are you going to save a lot of money you're probably just gonna end up living a more satisfied life because you don't have to rely on going to the store, or, uh, you know, buying these new things to, uh, to end up maintaining and end up keeping in the end. I think uh, a big uh, part of the American dream is getting a house. And when people get the house, depending on its size, they have this urge to fill it. And over the years, you know, we accumulate all these clothes that still fit us, but we don't really wear them because initially we were excited about purchasing them but didn't really utilize the uh or at least assess the utilitarian aspect of them and then you have all this stuff sitting around your basement and then when you're when you move or if you do move you realize man i haven't used this stuff in 10 years you know like what is going on anyway let me know what you think about this uh consumer mindset set in the west how can we go about maybe lessening it or is it even necessary to lessen such a thing thoughts let me know So I'm definitely not immune to the uh, consumerist mentality. I love me some toys, particularly trading cards and strategy games and board games. Look at board games. I love it. I'm more likely to spend money on an experience than I am an actual thing. So that's why I, uh, I can rationalize this, I suppose. But. Um, I remember sitting in our lecture with uh, Dr. Jeffrey Gurian, who was talking a lot about uh, kind of establishing this sense of play in his own home so that he, uh, he has things to get excited about. A uh, similar concept comes up about environment and homes um, in uh, trying to set up, if you have a larger goal in life to attain a certain amount of money or a certain amount of wealth, to set up your house in a way that kind of reminds you of that constantly of people that inspire you in that sense. So I will try to keep my environment fun, entertaining, artful. Hope you can do the same, or at least manipulate it in a way that helps you build your your life. Food for thought. I'm going to be moving to Ohio very soon and uh, I like having friends. I like hanging out with people and doing fun things and having philosophical conversations. So uh, none of my friends obviously from school from Philadelphia are going to be moving here because uh, to them it's basically the middle of nowhere. Uh, so I have decided that anytime I go out with my family to uh, a local shopping center or some place that uh, has a variety of different shops. I'm gonna go and hit up the shop that's really nerdy. <laughs> that's what I like to do and uh, make friends with the owners there and get some information about some other shops that might be relevant or things that are going on in the area that might be relevant. Uh, so if you're moving to a new place, 
make sure to be social. It helps. You don't want to be bored. And you want to make sure and network as much as you can.